on everybody this is Jacob Viral today I got a couple more test tips and I'm gonna be suggestion so a couple things that you can look into on your own build whether you got a single subwoofer no wall build to a trunk build something that's extreme with a wall build a fourth order bandpass etc use these concepts I'm showing you in this video uh, a couple things I have highlighted here is bracing uh, I got some two by fours or two by sixes some things that you can utilize to improve output based on tests that I'm going to be doing in this video. So stay tuned for my single tenant subwoofer build. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm also going to have not just this, but also if you've seen my other videos, I'm using a frequency response with a dB reader on the meter so I can be able to see the result difference. So that today I'm going to be doing that. So let me go ahead and first find out how my vehicle is right now currently. I'm going to do 25 volume for this test so 25 volume I normally actually let's do 20 I normally try to stick the same volume for every test I do so I'll be at 20 volume for this I won't adjust that my base base knobs all the way up make sure I don't have to have a vehicle on for it um, for the test that I'm gonna be doing first is the bracing test so first I need to find out how it does without the bracing so let's go ahead and do this real quick do a sweep real quick to find out what the score is using a frequency tone with the meter. All right, so 115.79, so let's just say a mid 15. So we'll remember that for this test. So if we go up from there or down from there. All right, so here's how I'm gonna do this. So I got some wood. Use this concept in your own system so when you do it, if it's inside your box you're bracing, if it's inside your vehicle, in your trunk, if you dynamat something, if you add some form of support mechanism to it, say you put some wood on the door like I have on this, it looks ugly, but it, hey, it's the concept is what you wanna utilize. If you put something on the floor to prevent flex, if you add bracing to your roof, all of these concepts you want to utilize testing, but you need to know what your score is before and after. And I highly recommend doing this at a higher volume level because what happens is flex doesn't start occurring until higher volume levels. But I'm doing low volume level because I'm in the neighborhood. I don't want to play loud for the concept I'm teaching you. But when I do the true test, it's going to be full volume. But for this test, it's just the concept I'm trying to teach you this. But I highly recommend doing full volume for this test anytime that you do flex prevent it preventative measures so there's different things you can trial to see hey how can i prevent flex in my build all right so let's get started with this i'll stop talking so i got a couple of areas on my build that i'm going to be doing to add to it so i have one area i'm going to be putting here it's all ugly but forget that so i'm going to put a bracing in the two bracings so these bracings i have were from when i had my wall build if you haven't seen that just go to my setup on jacob viral and you'll know exactly where how my build was with how these were used. So I'm gonna get some wood to utilize for this and put some bracings on the roof. So what I'm doing with this is I'm gonna brace the roof and I'm gonna see how base reacts to that and see how the frequency response changes. And you're gonna use this concept, I gotta set this down real quick. You're gonna use this concept for your own build. So, you could even get a two by four, a long two by four in there, but this is what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna get some wood and uh, brace. So you can Im imagine if your vehicle, you can put a two by four up on your SUV if you're a no wall. If you're a wall build, you can do the same concept with uh, poles. Like I have a pole here, thread rod with some piping. This came into the wall build. So what I'm gonna do here is this is gonna go in, all right. See how it went up? So that's a good thing. All right. There. So it's not pretty, but the concept is what matters. So there, I got something in there. It's a lot more solid than it was before. So that's one brace. I'm gonna put one more brace in there with this one. Some other build I did a 165, so I know what I'm talking about. I started at a 158 and got all the way to a 65 on the same power just by doing testing. So it shows how critical testing is for your build. So here's what I'm gonna do here. So 
try to figure out a way to do a bracing on this somehow. I don't know if it'll fit, but that's what I was trying to do. Get where it braces the roof. So let's do that. I'm gonna put a piece of block right here and see if I can fit this under. There we go. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it lifts up. All right. So I'm doing these tests as I record. No trials, no gimmicks. There we go. It's not perfect, but the concept's there. It's braced. It's more solid than it was before. So now let's shut the doors. All right. And we're gonna see how it changes. This also can change your peak on the meter as well by having these bracings in here. It doesn't look pretty, but the concept. Imagine if you put these bra a brace in your, in your box, a brace at the back of your back panel and your trunk, just what I mentioned earlier, all these different things you do, you need to trace everything you do. So, all right, it's at 20 volume. I got my meter on. Do a sweep again, same sweep. So 15.85, let's see, what was the score before? I don't even remember because I'm so focused. So 16 to, oh no, 15.79. Okay, so 15.79 to 15.85. So that shows a slight gain and that's at low volume. And that's me doing literally nothing except just adding some bracing in, so. 15.79, 15.85, very minimal change. So what I'm gonna do now is do a higher volume just so I can see. I'm gonna start the vehicle real quick. So you don't wanna ever do burps with low volume or high volume without your alternator running and you have voltage up. Because what's happening is you don't wanna drain your batteries, your reserve, you're also gonna have voltage drop differences between tests. So you need to make sure you have the same battery reserve as well as same voltage supply for each. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do a 40 volume and see the difference. I'm gonna first test with the bracings in and then I'm gonna test with the bracings out. And I'm literally just gonna pull those out and then see how it changes the number. Uh, highly recommend doing this almost full tilt, but since I'm in the neighborhood, I'm not gonna go full tilt, but it's a concept. So here we go. All right. Five point eight four. Okay, I'll save that. Now let me do one. One more. Let me take the bracings out for this one. So all I'm going to do is I knocked it out. All right. There we go. Took both of them out. We're going to see how it changes. So this is the concept. So it doesn't have to be just in a no wall build. Wall builds too. Add bracings to your box, as well as your wall, your baffle, thickness, all of this stuff, do tests. But this is today's teaching on bracing. All right, so remember that. It was a 35.84. Let's do one more. Okay. went to a 36.34 so that shows that there's a gain with the bracing so 35.84 36.34 5.84 6.34 
So I hope that taught somebody something. 5.84, 6.34. So you see the difference? A half a dB. And that's not even full tilt. It could be higher or lower, but I know I'm gaining by bracing, so I'm gonna go ahead and work on this and give you a build update later. So I'll make it happen. Uh, use this concept in your build. Hope this taught you something. Stay tuned for more videos and I'll teach you more things about testing. Later guys, Jacob all out.